Hey y'all, what's up? It's Hannah and welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. Um, today I'm going to be filming my summer barn favorites um, and I'm also going to be giving y'all some things that I like to do in the summertime with my animals. So I'm going to be giving y'all like a few like hacks and like tips and stuff like that. And so yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it. And click on that subscribe button down below if you have not already so you can see more of my future videos. Okay, so one of the first things that I've absolutely been loving is my tack from Zal's Dreams over on Instagram. Jamian that owns Zal's Dreams um, sent me these reins. Um, they're super, super pretty. And this tack is like amazing quality. Um, so she does like a super, super amazing job. And I was so excited when she wanted to send me some stuff to show y'all. Um, so yeah, she sent me these reins um, and they're super pretty. They're like a teal and hot pink color and they are adjustable and they have clips they come with clips and her prices are literally so so good um, and then she also sent me this um halter for the minis and the nose band is like really patriotic and i really really love it um so yeah, i've absolutely been loving this tack and i would definitely recommend her tack um and she does like custom orders and stuff so i'll have all of her information linked down in the description box um, so yeah, I've been really enjoying this tack, and it's just so pretty, and like you can personalize it like with your colors and everything. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend her stuff. Okay, the next product I'm going to show y'all are these grooming gloves, which I'm sure you've seen me use in some of my videos if you watch my videos. I absolutely love these gloves. I got them at the beginning of this year, and I have not used a like normal curry comb since I've gotten them. Um, but they're called hands-on grooming gloves and if you don't like if you haven't seen what they are and um, they're basically gloves that you put on and they are like curry combs um so they have like nubs on the like palm part and like on your finger i just dropped one hold on um they have like little nubs on them so they're basically a curry comb glove and they work so so good and you can also use them like on your dogs like if you have big dogs and you can just like go in circular motions just like you would with a curry comb and they're also waterproof so you can eat there is a spider on my camera just chilling um you can also use them to bathe because they're waterproof um so i've done that like multiple times this summer and um like i said i use them to groom my horses every single time i groom them and um, see so yeah, i absolutely love them and i got them from state line tack but you can also get them from the hands-on like website or whatever um but they just look like this and they also have a purple color i got the green ones but they also have purple and they also come in like junior sizes so they have them for children as well and all of the products that I'm talking about today, I'm going to try my best to find all of them and link them in the description box for y'all in case you're interested in um, like researching any of it or buying any of it or anything like that. And the next thing I like to do for my animals in the summertime is to make them popsicles because it's really, really hot here in the summer. So I like, well, you know, it's hot here like all the time pretty much, but in the summertime it's like really, really hot. And so I like to make them popsicles um, and I just use an ice tray and normally I'll use like carrots or apples and I'll cut them up and put them in the ice tray and then fill it up with water and then freeze them and I'll give them to the rabbits and the horses and the pigs and they just really enjoy like licking the ice and then once they lick the ice um, and or like once it melts a little bit then they can eat the apples or carrots that are inside of it um, so they really enjoy that and in this video I show y'all me giving the rabbits um, some popsicles with carrots in it um, but always keep in mind that carrots are not that great for your rabbits. They're okay to give them, like, occasionally, but carrots are really high in sugar for rabbits. Um, a lot of people have that misconception because they always see, like, you know, carrots, like, with rabbits on, like, cartoons and stuff. But carrots are not that great for your rabbits, um, only as, like, an occasional treat, which, you know, <laughs> most people are like, well, carrots don't have that much sugar in them, you know, like, but we are not rabbits. Like, all because we don't die from eating half a dozen Cinnabons doesn't mean your rabbit is going to be able to tolerate that much sugar. So, um, yeah, I just wouldn't recommend giving your rabbit a bunch of sugar. But um, I do give them carrots occasionally, um, and that's completely fine. They just are not supposed to eat, like, a bunch of carrots. And if you're making the popsicles for your horses, you could take like a string and freeze it into the popsicle. So you could hang them like in their stall or like off a tree or something so they can kind of play around with it like 
in the air, like why it's like moving around and stuff. And that's a good way to keep them entertained, especially if your horse is like stalled or anything like that. Another product that my horses have been enjoying lately are these Purina Knicker Maker um, treats. Um, I got them from Tractor Supply and the horses seem to really, really like them, um, which I really have not found treats that my horses did not really like. Um, as far as like horse treats go, but they seem to really enjoy these. Another one of my favorite products to use on the horses in the summertime is the Farnham Endure Fly Spray. And this fly spray is by far the best fly spray that I've ever used. And I even use it for me like when I'm out here like feeding up or when the bugs are really bad. Um, I like spray it on my clothes and it helps keep like all the bugs and stuff off of me. It is not water resistant, but it is sweat resistant. Um, so every time it rains, like I have to like reapply it but it honestly works so well and it is like more expensive for a fly spray because it it is such like a good quality fly spray i think these size bottles are like 19 or 20 dollars and then the gallon size is 70 dollars but the normally we buy a gallon like every year um and it seems to last us like the entire summer and that's with five horses yeah i definitely really love this and would definitely recommend it and we normally get this from a tractor supply and something else I like to use on the horses in the summertime is um, sunscreen. Normally I'll just pick some baby sunscreen up from Walmart. And this one is the spray, so like I normally just spray it on my hand. And I use this for their noses because some of my horses have like white on their noses and they'll get sunburn. So I just spray this on my hand and wipe it on their nose and it works really well. Um, so this is something good if like your horses don't wear like a fly mask with the nose piece on it or if they're just not wearing their fly mask that day and something else that I've really been enjoying this summer is Brittany Joy's Red Rock Ranch series and um, she sent me the first book to the series a while back and I reviewed that book for y'all but she sent me a digital copy of the third book in the series and I honestly really really enjoyed the books and it's something that I would definitely recommend and I did post about it on my Instagram story a couple times so I'm sure some of y'all saw that when you're reading like you want to know like what happens next um, so it's not like you get like bored reading it like you want to know like what happens next and um, it honestly would make the coolest TV show I think like I know it would be like one of my favorite TV shows um, so I'll have them linked down below in case y'all like need some books to read this summer or just enjoy reading like in general and something else that I've been doing for my ducks and chickens this summer um, is putting electrolytes and vitamins in their water um, this is something that's really important um, even your horses I would definitely recommend doing it for your horses as well um, they sell like a tractor supply some powders you can put in their water or their food um, and that's the same way for my chickens and ducks. I buy powder from our local feed store and put it in their water. Um, I have several waters on the property and they free range. So, so I'll just sprinkle it in a couple of the waters and then have some that don't have it in it. Like your horses will lose a lot of like magnesium and potassium like in their sweat. Um, so it's definitely really important that you provide like a mineral block or electrolytes or something so they can replenish all those minerals and stuff that they're losing in their sweat and it helps them stay hydrated and everything. And something else I like to do to help keep my horses cool in the summertime is to braid their manes. Um, every like couple days I like rebraid their manes just in like regular, you know, normal like three strand braids. Um, and my horses have like really long thick manes so this just helps them and not sweat as much under their mane because a lot of the times they'll have like a ton of sweat underneath their mane so it just helps keep them cool. Um, so that's something I like to do for the horses and the rabbits a lot of the times we will freeze water bottles and put them in the um, rabbit hutches around noon time and the rabbits will sometimes like, lay against the water like the frozen water bottles um, and that helps keep them cool as well. And a question I get asked a lot is how I keep the chickens waters like pretty like, clean and like not slimy and green and stuff. I do not really like automatic waters. I like having like smaller water troughs and smaller waters for my chickens and everything. That way I can dump them out often and clean them and scrub them because I feel like if you have like super, super big water troughs, um, that's kind of difficult to do, like to empty them out and scrub them often, which that is understandable like if you have like a big like herd of horses or cattle or something but with just our five horses i have a 40 gallon water trough and a 20 gallon water trough um so i have so i'm able to like dump them out often and refill them and clean them and everything and then with the chickens i have like buckets i think they're two gallon buckets 
um, that I use for the chickens. Um, and what I do with them is do bucket like rotation. So what I normally do is put a bucket down and you know fill it up with water and have that water there for a day. And then the next day or like that night or something, I'll take that bucket out and replace it with a new bucket. That way the other bucket can have like time to like dry. That way it, there's not like water constantly in it. So it helps like keep the buckets clean and it helps the buckets last longer and stuff because you aren't constantly having water in them. Giving like <laughs> it a break to like dry out will help a lot. Um, so that's something that you could also do with your horse's water trough. You could have like two water troughs like next to each other um, and then fill one up one day and then dump it the next, have it dry out and then fill up the other one. And um, that way you can kind of dry out and have a break from having water in it. And another one of my summer favorites that I'm sure y'all see me use in my videos is my Ozark Trail cups. These cups are like absolutely amazing. Um, and I'm outside like working all the time or like training the horses or something. And I could literally leave this cup in the sun for hours and come back and there's still be ice in it. Like they work so well. Um, we get them from Walmart, but they have them like everywhere. But I have this bigger one. Um, this is my white one. And then I also have a one that's a little bit smaller that's like a pretty turquoise blue color. Um, so yeah, they have like really pretty colors and they're really, really inexpensive. I think the 22 ounce one is like $9. And um, they also have like smaller like mugs and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll try to link these below for y'all because I would definitely recommend them. And if your horses stay in the barn during the summertime, which I can't really show an example of this because my horses are always turned out. But um, something that you see like on Pinterest all the time is having a like box fan inside of a hay net and hanging it um on the outside of your horse's stall that way they can stand in front of it if they want to so yeah those were some of my summer barn favorites and tips that i have for y'all um be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below i love y'all so much and appreciate you so much and i'll see you soon with another video bye